Hey, hey, you guys. Happy Friday. Look what came. Actually, super early. And sorry, I'm a few minutes late. I already banged my head trying to turn my light on. Um, and I had some connection issues here. And I totally forgot that my desk was a mess from yesterday. So I had to quick clean that up. So when you guys get in, say hey. Happy Friday. Let me know you're here. Let's get this unboxed. I'm super pumped. I'm just waiting to see that I am live. Once I see that I'm live, I'm going to quick go ahead and get this shared into my VIP group really quickly. Um, and we will quick go. I'm going to go ahead and pin the link to my site to go ahead and um, get shopping from here. Um, there it goes. That is pinned. And we're going to quick share this over into my VIP group really fast. Um, Game on 2023 Hall Unboxing. Um, there it goes. Oops, that's wrong. All righty. Let me know when you're here. Happy Friday. Um, hey, Carol. Hi, Tanya. I know, Tanya. And look, I just cracked my head. Um, trying to turn my light on. Oi! Underneath my desk. So there's that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so happy, happy Friday, friends. Hi, Mary Beth. I cannot believe this game, guys. I got to tell you. So, hey, good morning, Darlene. Thank, um, TGIF to you too. Hey, Mary Beth. Hi, Lisa. Um, so let me tell you, we, um, good morning, Lisa Batten. Um, I have got literally in my town, it has been nonstop. Hi, Carol. Um, nonstop. If you guys see blood, let me know. <laughs> I don't think I broke the skin, but it hurts really bad. Actually, it feels like I broke it right here, but we'll see. Um, it has been nonstop uh, road work happening in my town. Nonstop. And literally, I did, I've been having these crazy issues where I'm just not sleeping. And I didn't fall asleep till 5.15 in the morning. I woke up this morning to the sound of what would sound like a truck, like a truck door closed. And I'm like, oh! <gasps> My FedEx package came and I peek out the window. And of course, I don't have my glasses on, but I can see that it's a white truck. So I'm like, yay, it's FedEx. So I grab my glasses. I look, and I'm like, oh no. Hi, Steph. Good morning. I'm like, it's not FedEx. It's the road work guys. Like it's the water company. Um, and it is um, the actual road people because we're redoing all our water pipes and all our electric things. Um, like it's a big thing in the state of New Jersey right now. Um, and our town happens to be the ones that's getting it. So I was like, crap, FedEx is not going to deliver my package because my actual street is completely closed. So I was like, no. So it's like, let me call FedEx and tell them to deliver it to our Walgreens. Because usually when that happens, when the street is closed, I know what are right. Hi, Robin. Hey, Kelly Joe. Hey, Deborah. Um, when that happens, they will not deliver your package. They'll say there's a package exception and then they'll do it the next delivery day. Well, I did next day. So my next delivery day would be Monday, not tomorrow. So I'm like, I'm calling Walgreens. I'm going to call them and tell them to deliver it to the Walgreens. And when they leave my package um, and the town and the road work people are done, I'll run up to Walgreens and I'll grab it and I can go live. So I'm on the phone with Walgreens. I mean, with trying to get FedEx on the phone and I hear this thud on my, my porch and I'm like, <gasps> Tell me something ricocheted from the street. And I'm in my pajamas, you guys. I'm like, oh, no. So I go running over to the door, and it was the box. So I'm like, what the heck? So FedEx, guys, if you're watching, thank you to whoever my sweet FedEx driver was today for delivering my package. You made my day. You made everybody's day here. So there is that. Um, hi, Kat. Good morning. So hi, Robin. Uh, so there we go. Um... Oh, let's see. Deborah says, I'm so excited for mine to arrive. My granddaughter has volleyball senior night on the 26th. Last volleyball game. Oh, Deb. I just went to um, my friend Heather. I don't know if you guys um, follow me personally, but my friend Heather, um, her son Aiden had his um, track senior day yesterday. So I was helping her with track. Um, and I was like, oh, I wish I would have had the package yesterday because, of course, we had the cute sneaker. And he won um, the... Um, uh, conference, um, colonial conference, it's called yesterday. So I was like, Oh, I wish I would have had the track trans, the transfer that has the sneaker on it. Cause I would have made the banner for him for the, um, they set up a whole, uh, tent and a table for his senior nights. I'm like, 
Man, I wish I would have had it. It would have been perfect for it. But he does have states coming up, so I will be making um, a fun um, project for that. And I was going to make another project actually for him today, but because I can't get out of my driveway, I can't go pick up the picture for it. So, hi, Heidi. Good morning. Um, I know. I really should tag FedEx. You're right, Kat. I should tell them thank you so much for delivering my package. I did not expect that at all. Good morning, Janine. Um, so, I just wanted to. You're right. I will tag them in this. So, thank you to my FedEx driver. You rock. Thanks for making my day. You made my Friday. There's that. So, you guys ready? Let's go ahead and let's get my box open. Um, Heidi, you are up crazy early. It is 6.30 where you are, correct? Heidi lives in the North Pole, my friends, if you do not know that. Um, yeah, she is Santa's helper, um, and it is amazing. So, I cannot believe you are up right now, Heidi. But, um, you guys, I am super pumped. Hold on, I'm going to open my box like this because my address is on here, and nobody needs to see my address for the world. Nobody needs to see that. We just don't need to see that. Um, so here is that. Um, let's get this going. All right, hold on. We, hold on, I just don't want my, my address, my actual address to show. Okay, there we go, you guys. Here it is. Yay. Oh, it's all packaged nicely. Look at this. It's like a whole big package. Oh, look, I can just take this whole box part then. Hold on. I can't get the transfers out. There it goes. So let's get, oi. Oh, Okay. Get the box on the ground. We don't need that. Let's get the package over there. Okay. All right. Let's do the transfers first, and then we'll go in and show the coordinating um, cutouts that go with it. How's that sound? Okay. All right. So we're going to start out first with our varsity. I believe this one's called varsity. I got to learn them all, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's called varsity jersey, you guys. Um, hey, good morning, Nancy. Um, let's see. I know. I don't think Heidi ever sleeps. I think you're right. Um, I think you're right, Kat. Oh my God, Tanya, you are too funny. Um, you're up early because it's nice and quiet and I'm screaming in the, um, video, Heidi. So there's, <laughs> um, I do agree. I do understand though. You are right. It is, it does make awesome sense when it is nice and quiet. All right, hold on. So here's what I'm going to do. As there is a coordinating transfer, I mean, cor uh, cutout, I'm going to show you the coordinating cutout. So hold on. I know there is a Jersey, our coordinating Jersey, um, cutout. Where is it? So let's get to it. Here it is. Ooh. So we're going to show, as I have a cutout that coordinates with it, we're going to show it. So let me get it like this. So this is the Varsity Jersey, and I love, love, love this transfer. All of the transfers that released, there's four new transfers that released, you guys. Um, so during Transfer Palooza, you buy three, get one free. So now is the perfect time to do this, okay? Oh, Lise, I love that. Well, I'll try and keep it a little quiet then. Um, there is that. Um, I think I forgot to order the football. Oh, no, cat. The football is awesome. Um, you got to grab it. But here's the great thing. If you forgot to order it, it's okay. And while you're waiting for it to come, at least you could do with the digital file because there is coordinating digital files. Um, and we are keeping you company in the basement. That is good to know. Um, I hope it will be done. So um, there is a coordinating SVG for this. And there is a, a SVG file for this. And there is the coordinating chalkable shape for the, um, for the jersey that goes with this. So this is called varsity jersey. You can make these any color that you want. So if you're, you have kiddos that play any of the sports that are listed, this would be perfect. Even if they don't play that particular sport, you can still make the jersey and add their numbers, which is awesome. Hi, Becky. Hi, Connie. Good morning, you guys. How are you doing? Um, so there is that. Um, and yes, if you do not have chalk suede, you most definitely need to add that. Connie, you call me live. Good morning. Happy Friday. Um, definitely add a package of chalk suede. But while we're in, Ch in Transfer Palooza, you guys, they're buy three, get one free. So you can purchase all, all four, put all four of the brand new size C transfers into your cart. One of them will be free. That is the best part of Transfer Palooza and these launching right now. So definitely take advantage of that. So we have the chalkable shape and the varsity jersey. I love these numbers because they literally do look like they are numbers that belong on a jersey. So if you are a uh, a sports mom, aunt, uncle, sports dad, um, if you are a, gr a sports grandma, if you're just a sports fr a friend, if you just want to do it for your favorite team, 
this is the uh, the best transfer to go ahead and grab for that. I love it. Um, even if your particular uh, sport isn't listed, just do varsity or just do the number, you guys. Um, I cannot wait to do this. I'm actually going to go back to all of Brand's basketball stuff from last year um, and his hockey stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do his... Um, his uh, uh, shadow box frames for some of his mementos, okay? I know, Darlene, hopefully they will make bigger numbers for the next launch because if you notice, it was called Game On 23. So hopefully that means there's more to come. Um, so hopefully they'll do more and more. And good thing, Lise, that you have your earbud in. Hey, Darlene over here. Um, so this one is the first one that they have. I love this, okay? So we've got the varsity jersey and the coordinating chalk shape for it. So let's go to the next one now. Um, I'm just going to pop it underneath. So the next one that we have, ooh, I love this one. And you guys, I'm going to tell you, we are going to be using this transfer um, very soon because I have big ideas with this one with one of our current um, projects. And I already got a head start on it. You guys are going to see it coming up. Um, in some of my upcoming projects, the winter cheer transfer. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you a sneak peek. It's already done. I already made the video. It's going to be a sped up video, but I'm going to be adding to it. Um, and it actually even has the how to for, I actually have the video of the how to for the tassel. I'm going to be doing it because we have, this one is called snow and ice sports. So I already, oh, you were missing comments, Darlene. Oh yeah. Because on YouTube, you won't see all the comments. I get it. Um, I knew, since I knew that this transfer was coming, I'm like, let me get a head start on some of the things. I wanted to use some of our winter transfers. I even used um, the one that is the size C. I can't think what it's called right now. To go ahead and get started with some of the firewood stuff. You guys may have already seen that snuck into the background of my, um, in the background of my uh, 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 videos here. But there's so many amazing things that are coming with this. And I'm gonna tell you another thing that I love about these transfers. I love that it has the patent, um, the patent stuff on it because that makes it super fun. Patents are so on trend right now. Um, and if you did not know, literally, you guys, they they are, hey, Kim, how are you doing? The patents, like just regular patent projects, um, just the image and like that, what it looks like with the patent, they are huge in design right now. So huge, okay? So with this project, you've got... Now, if you were a hockey fan, I, I, I know I am super pumped because it was a Flyers home opener the other night, as well as the Phillies playing. They won their home opener. I think it was 3 nothing. Um We are huge Philly fans here in this house. So my whole... Like, my basement... If you don't... You guys don't see the opposite side. You only see where I'm working. We have all sports stuff out. Right now, we are... We have the football up because it was football season and we still have our, our Philly stuff up. But now I can start decorating with some flyer stuff because I can create the stuff with my colors. We've got a, we've got a helmet here. We've got the ice skate here. We have the hockey sticks here. We've got a puck. Um, we've got an ice skate. But for those of you that also like to do some of the, um, that are, that, that do, um, some of the winter sports. We've got skis and a snowboard and the poles and we've got snow boots, um, which I love. And like I said, we have those winter transfers. So you guys, the ones that we have, let me get this up. Hold on. I'm going to show you. Um, we've got the, let me grab my book. I purposely cut my book out here for our holiday 2023 collection. Let me tell you some other ones you can add on while we're in transfer Palooza. We've got winter cheer. We have Say it ain't snow, okay? We've got literally freezing. Now, you may have this from last year, okay? Ice skating skate rentals. I cannot use this in coordination with this transfer and the chalkable shapes, which I'm going to show you in just a second. We have the warm winter wishes. We've also got, hold on, the classic snowflakes. You could technically even use the bottle brush trees with this. Um, we've got the scent of pine. We've got, where is it at? Cozy Cabin, okay? This is the one that has Ski Chalet and Alpine Ski Lodge and the Mountain Time. Cozy Cabin Christmas, winter, uh, I can't see what that says. It's so tiny. 
winter something, the home cut firewood, the ski lift that has lift line, lodge, operate, operate ski, or however you say that. We've got the winter floral pattern that just uh, came back in stock yesterday. And then even in the Christmas is here transfer that just also came back in stock yesterday. You've got the hot cocoa in here. You have snowflakes and warm mittens, cozy fires. Um, I could have sworn I also saw something about blankets, but I guess not. But you could also use twinkle lights, okay? So you guys, there are so many transfers you can use in coordination with these transfers that just launched, okay? So I'm gonna be trying my best to give you as many ideas as I can during Transfer Palooza, so that way you can capitalize on it, okay? So there's that. Now let me show you all of the coordinating shapes that we have with it. So of course, we've got our cute skis. We've got our hockey sticks. We've got, let me see, our snowboard. I know we have, hold on, where is, where is this? I know there's a ski and I could have sworn there was a hockey helmet. I could be wrong about the helmet. Maybe there wasn't. Here is the ski. I mean the skate rather. So the skate will actually go that way the skis, the snowboard, the um, hockey um, sticks. I thought there was a helmet. I guess I'm wrong on that. No helmet. Okay, my bad. Uh, that is this one, this one, this one. Is that it? Hold on, you guys. Let me, oh, son of a gun. Hold on. Let me get these out so I can actually get rid of this package now because it's actually in my way. Save your cardboard. I have ideas for the cardboard, you guys. Save your cardboard. Okay, these ones will go with the next two. We've only shown two transfers so far. So that is stay. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's that. All right. So this one was called snow and ice sports. So awesome. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Next one, which, what did I do? Oh, there it is. All right. So we're going to stick those ones there. So let's move on to our next transfer, which is called Oh, there it goes. Okay, this one is called um, Junior Varsity. Okay, this one's called Junior Varsity. Now, this one has, um, oh, this one's got some good stuff on it. Now, this one has smaller numbers, number one. This one's got a golf club. This one has many golf clubs. I actually don't even know. I think one's called a putter. Maybe one's called a driver. I don't really know what the other one's called. A normal glove, a normal, a normal golf club. Um, there's that. Um, that's what was good about buying the transfer individually. One was free. Not sure they that calculated the same. If you bought. it did not, Darlene. But that was also. I took that. I the reason why I bought the pack was because it was already prepackaged. If you bought it prepackaged, it was guaranteed to ship out that morning. If you didn't buy the package, there was not a guarantee. I wanted the guarantee, but you didn't get to capitalize on Transfer Palooza. And that was okay with me. Oh, a sandwich. Thank you, Lisa. Hey, Lucy. How are you doing? Happy Friday. Okay, so an iron driver and putter. Okay, you guys are very good. Um, there it is. I don't know these, these terms. You guys are good. Um, so this one I was very, very pumped about because it's got a lot of the... A lot of um, a lot of stuff that I'm pumped to use. Number one, we've got, and I realize that I have a, a big time glare on here. We've got a baseball. We've got a volleyball. We've got a basketball. We've got a football helmet. Again, all of the golf ones, which the girls told me, iron driver, putter, sand wedge, whatever we're calling it. Hi, Karen. Um, we've got again more of patent um. Patent ideas on here, application, designers, lot, patent specs. I love it. We have a golf tee and um, the little golf ball. Um, and we've got the term volleyball. We've got different figures, which I love. I love the authentic, which is super fun. And I'm going to tell you something else, okay? Um, my sweet friend, SPG, uh, Sarah Page Gruber, a lot of you know, um, might know her, um, Creative Sarah, um, she actually got to design with this for what we call as designers, um, launch love live. Um, it is something that we get to do as, um, as, as, um, chocolate tour designers. And she showed this amazing technique with this golf ball. And I cannot wait to show you guys. Um, and it was a beautiful story of, um, 
something that her her brother and her son Ryan, um, a story that they share together, and she actually showed it for all of us and showed us how to create it. And I can't wait to share it with you. Um, it's actually super great. I'm so excited about it. Um, yes, I love that. The little numbers for near the pocket area. Oh, this is a great idea. I'm going to show you guys this. Darlene said, the little numbers here on this transfer, so on the junior varsity, um, the little numbers, and then on the varsity transfer, you could use the bigger numbers on the back, which is such a great idea. So you could put the little numbers on like pockets of things and then the bigger numbers on the back of things. That is such a great idea. Thank you for saying that, um, Darlene. Thank you for sharing that idea with everybody. It's a great idea. Um, hey, Julie, how are you doing? Um, so there is that one. Um, this also has a bunch of coordinating chalk shapes with it. Now, I, of course, the football helmet, I cannot wait to do. Love this one because you, if you are a football player, if you are a football family, if you are a basketball family, if you're a baseball family, which I am telling you, I cannot wait because my fills are in the, um, are fighting to get back to the World Series, uh, right now. We are literally, like, we got to kick the, the series into the butt and then we're in the World Series again. Um, like, how crazy would it be if we go against the Astros again? Like, come on. Who's it? The Texans and the Astros are playing right now, I think. And then we're playing the Diamondbacks. Like, we need to beat the Diamondbacks. And, like, I actually hope the Texans win this time. Uh, Stretch, if you were watching me, don't be mad at me for saying that. Uh, but I would love that. So I will tell you, I actually am hoping to come back. And maybe I'll stay on live. I actually am hoping to stay on live and make myself a shirt. Um, with the baseball and you're going to see the catcher's mitt and just another one. I'm just letting you know. Um, is it, oh, Rangers. Okay, cool. Um, yes, Kim, you got to get these transfers. Okay. Love. Got to get them. Got to get them. Um, so there is that. So, and volleyball guys, I played volleyball. God, four years growing up. Um, let me tell you who knows the, the one cardinal rule of playing volleyball. When you set, you never cross your thumbs, right? And don't mind my this was my picking at three o'clock in the morning when I could not. Um, Astros, no to the Texans. What? Lisa, no. We don't want the Astros again. I don't want them again. <laughs> um, no to crossing your thumbs, right? That is a huge no-no when you're playing volleyball, right? Who knows that rule? Um, so there's that. But I have so many great memories of playing volleyball growing up. So again, this is a great transfer. This is junior varsity. So we have got golf clubs for the golfer in your life. That is a coordinating chocolate shape. This one we already pulled out. Where's all the transfers that I was looking for? Oh, no, these are the hockey clubs. These are the hockey. Oy, that's hockey, guys. This is what I was looking for. So this is the golf club for that. We've got, hold on, our football helmet. We've got, is that it for this one? Hold on, nope, there's other things here. This is going to be the volleyball or the basketball. I think, I don't know which one this is. What is this? Junior volleyball. Okay, there's that one. And then, oh, this is the next one for the next. These, these ones coordinate with the next sh next tra uh, transfer. So um, three chalkable shapes coordinate with this. I lived in Houston for 15 years and my cubs are not in it. Oh, I know, Lise. I'm sorry about that. Think helmet would fit on a five by five box frame. Oh no, that's going to be a no, Janine. I'm going to say you're going to want to go with, let's say, I'm going to show you right here. It is not going to fit on a five by seven box frame. It literally is crazy tight fitting to the seven. Um, and I actually do have a five. Oh yeah, no, it's six by seven. It measures six by seven. It will not fit on a five by seven box frame. And as a matter of fact, I've got my five by seven box frame. Let me show you. I can just show you the back real quick. It will not fit on it unless you wanted to maybe have it stuck on the outside. But yeah, see, it's too big for it. Can you see like from here to here? It would mount on the outside. Like if you wanted to go from the tip to the tip. Hold on. Like if you wanted it to sit like this, I'm going to say a nine by nine box frame, most definitely it will not hit the five by five at all. This is five by seven and it's too big for that. It's definitely not going to fit the five by five. Not at all. Um, way too big for the five by five, even too big for the five by seven, nine by nine. It will fit perfectly. Um, that is what I can, I can definitely tell you that Janine. Nine by nine, most definitely. I'm happy to share that with you guys. Definitely, definitely. So that way you guys can be prepared. That's the best part of sharing this. We That way we all know. Um, so there is that. Okay, so let's move on to our next one. Our final one. Um, the final transfer that released from this is called, 
I believe it's called Varsity. What is this one called? Yes, Varsity is the Varsity Transfer. Yay! Okay, hold on, guys. I'm, I'm, having, I'm struggling right now with all of the chalk shapes. There's so many awesome chalk shapes that released. Let's get this back over here. Okay, so, oh, let's see all the ones that we have here. So we've got on this, we have the catcher's mitt, which I can't wait to do. We have a football, we've got a sneaker, we've got a cleat, and we've got a soccer ball. We've got figure one, two, three, four, five. Again, the uh, we have something that says best quality original guaranteed. We've got the words football, basketball, baseball, soccer. We have long a better a bigger patent speci specification here. Um, good morning, Margie. Um, hey, Cindy Sturman. Um, need an eight by eight. Is that the size of the shadow box? Oh, the shadow box is. Let's see what size it is. I've got my book right here. I feel like you're right. I think the shadow box is eight by eight. Nope, shadow box is nine by nine. Shadow box is nine by nine. I don't think we have anything that's eight by eight. Um, eight by eleven is the London frame, isn't it? Isn't that how big the new London frame is? The new London is. Hold on, where's our new London frame in here? Eight by eleven is the new London frame. So it's not eight by eight, but it's eight by eleven. Um. Yeah, nine by nine. That is going to be it. But you know what? It will be super cute on the letter board if you wanted to do like go team or something. I am going to do it on our serving tray. I actually can't wait to use it on the serving tray. Uh, no, I'm not going to do the cutout. I apologize. I'm doing the, the actual transfer itself. Um, that's nine by 12. Um, the pennant banners are... Wait, what's the insert of the slide drop-in box frame? What's that one? No, they're five and a half by seven and a half. Yeah, I knew that. I don't even know why I went looking for that. Hi, Margie. It is Struggle Bus Friday, Tanya, for reals. I'm not a huge sports myself. I'm watching with my boys, however these can be. Yes, these are awesome. I'm so excited about all of these. Okay, that works. That works good then get some wording on too best the helmet yes exactly Darlene that works best for the helmet I think that's what you were I think I get what you're saying yes um so um loving how big this catcher's mitt is I actually cannot wait to do this like I said I want to make a Phillies shirt um so that way I have a shirt for tonight um because Phil's play again tonight 8 7 p.m my time <laughs> um we've got the soccer ball we've got the football um, again, we have SVGs for all of these files. Um, we've got the cleat, the sneakers. Okay. We also have some coordinating chalk shapes here now. So we've got the sneaker, which is awesome. So if you have track, I cannot wait to show you. Um, I forgot about the transfer lose. I only got three sports transfers and add on the sports quote transfer for free. Yay, Deb, there you go. So you got to do it for free. Yay. Now, if you added, if you did it as the, um, what is it? If you did it as the bundle uh, for the designers, obviously it didn't work that way, but for customers, it's going to most definitely work that way. Um, so we've got this. Um, boop. Okay. So we've got that. Um, I can't comment. LOL. When I do, I freeze and I have to go back in and come out. Oh, Darlene, that's so weird. I wonder why. Um, hi, Debbie Webb. How are you doing? Hey, Jen Hawks. Hello. Hello. Um, okay. So there is that. Um, I gotta move this over because there is no need to be that. Okay. Um, and then we also have the coordinating football shape. So we've got the three shapes that will coordinate with this one too. So it seems like all of them have three shapes that coordinate and then the just the uh, jersey for the one. But here's the cool thing. If you have like, I will be making a um, banner for my, uh, for Heather's son, um, for his states, um, with the sneakers. I cannot wait to do that. Um, think about like, like Brent, my husband is a huge sneaker head. Okay, guys, he has got more pairs of Nike sneakers than I have got, um, shoot, actual shoes. Um, I cannot wait. I want to make him, um, like, a for his side of the room on the wall. Like once we redo his side of the room, we got to move a bunch of stuff to storage. Um, 
I want to do a bunch of box frames, um, like the nine by nine box frames in different colors. Like think of like the, you know, the fun eighties pictures, um, where they're like the pops of colors. Um, I want to do that with him with the sneakers for his like sneaker colors. And then for little brand, I can't wait to actually do this for the colors of his basketball sneakers from his senior year. Um, because I want to do it in a shadow box frame for him for basketball. Um, so there is that. I'm not a big sports fan, but do watch with the boys. These can be used for kids, teens, and even a more elegant look for dens or manscapes. Yes. Kim sink. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I love what you just said. I'm not a big sports fan, but do watch with the boys. These can be used for kids, teens, and even a more elegant look for dens and man or man caves. Yes, that's what I love about the patent specifications. That's what you can do to make it have the more elegant, classy, um, modern looks. Any of that you can do with the with the patent ideas. I love it. And even just with black on white or white on black, like perfect. Um, so there is, there's that guys. I love it. And we have, uh, these are going to make for great holiday gifts. You guys, how many of you struggle with gifts to get your husband, your son, your brother, your uncles, um, your friends that are, that are, that are just like hard to shop for. Um, these are going to make for great holiday gifts for those of you that do craft shows, for those of you that do events, um, there's many of you that are designers, many of you that are my customers on here that use our products to do craft shows. I'm going to be doing a huge series um, within the next two weeks on, a cra on craft show ideas. I'm telling you, you're going to want to have these transfers because I have a ton of ideas that are going to actually benefit men, women, the, the, our big sports fanatics, um, men, women, kids, um, gifts for groomsmen um, and, and um, groomswomen. Um, gifts for all. Okay. Um, bridesmaids, um, best friends, everybody I'm going to have so many ideas for everyone to sell at different events. Um, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that. You're going to want to subscribe. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, whether it's YouTube or Facebook, please go ahead and hit follow. Give me a heart, do all the things that way you can come back, turn on your notifications. I'm going to have a ton of ideas for you guys. Okay. You don't want to miss out on that. Um, so there is that, uh, Pam says, sure wish I had these a long time ago. My husband was a coach for 30 years and could have used them. Pam, why not make for your kids for, um, for Christmas? Cause isn't it always so hard to figure out things for them for Christmas, for their birthdays? Um, make them shadow box memorabilia for your husband. Um, and especially how great would it be? Like, do they do, um, <clears throat> like I know we just did for, um, one of my friends in town, their mom. Um, she was a coach for a long time and they were bringing people back for like 30, when it was like a 25 year or a 30 year, why not get a memorabilia box for your husband? You can do it and show it to him and give it to him as a, a remind a remembrance part for him. But also, you know, maybe donate it to the school or the town, wherever he was. And that way it could be for all of the kids or for something for your town to even have. Um, or if it was at a high school, wherever it was, Pam, that would be a great idea for him. Um, you know, there's that. Hi, Brian. How are you doing? Hey, Stacy. How are you? Um, so there we go, you guys. Um, does anybody feel like hanging on with me while I maybe pull out one of these and make, um, I really think I want to make a shirt for tonight. Anybody want to hang out? <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I have, <clears throat> I'm hoping I have, what did I do with that shirt? Did I not bring it downstairs? Is it behind me? Ooh, I do. I've got it right here. Um, I did get a black, I don't know why I got a black shirt. I should have gotten a red shirt. I don't know where the red shirt is. Um, I've seen some of these different cutouts and I thought they were adorable as a 3D effect with lights that glow behind them. Super cute. Yes. Yes, Stacy. I love that idea. Um, there is that. Okay, good. Janine says yes. All right, guys, I'm going to make myself a Philly shirt because we have a game tonight. Um, you can, they're working away. Yay, Lisa. All right, I'm doing an ink project right now then, you guys. Um, I would also love to do another project. Um, for like fighting fills. Um, so there's that. I really want to do, guys, I really want to make, you're hanging out with me, Stace. Awesome. All right. So we're going to keep out the varsity and the, where is it? It is varsity and it is the junior varsity that we're going to take out. We're going to keep out right now. Always willing to hang out with you. Wish I could do it in person. Oh, Deb, I would love for you to be here in person. I would love to have everybody here in person. Okay. Let's put these to the side for right now. Let's get these. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Um, thanks for joining. My son, who is a big golfer and hates decorations, even asked me to make something neutral with golf. I love that, Kim. Did you see the fun idea that SPG did in Designer Studio the other night with the golf ball? 
um, where it looked like it was uh, crashing um, out of the, why did I keep these here? That it looked like it was crashing out of like the drywall. Um, and the story that she told of her brother, I just literally, it, it gave me tears. Um, but like, it was just such a, a great story and it was such a fun project. It was so fun and easy to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get these going, you guys. We're gonna get, we're gonna do this. This is gonna be super fun. Okay, and this is my last, um, we're gonna cut that in half. All right, so we've got this, what is this? We have varsity and junior varsity, right? Yay, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and make a label for the back. I make you laugh, oh God, what did I say? All right, so let's do this, varsity. And I already have my books ready, you guys. Like, I already went in and made a spot in my, my folios for these, like they're ready to go in. I was ready to rock and roll. Um, for these ones, I just wanted to be able to be done with this paper because it was bothering me that there was only one label left on this. So let's go ahead and let's get this going. So we've got varsity and junior varsity happening. Yes. You want to try it? Awesome. Kim, totally. You need to try it. All right. This one, I keep forgetting that I got to learn the names of them. So this one is the varsity one. So let's put this on here. Let's put this one on here and then let's get this one on here. Tanya, what did I do that make you that made you laugh? Oh God, what did I say? Did I say something crazy? I probably did. All right, so we got the backs of our transfers labeled. I can finally throw that away. See you later. All right, let's get this out. All righty, fighting fills. I want to spell out fills too. I'm gonna spell out fillies actually. Um, all right, let's get our ink mat. Get my ink mat. Boop, boop, boop. I'm just throwing all types of stuff all over the ground. Doesn't even matter right now. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. All right, Tanya. Okay. All right, let's get this shirt. Hopefully, this shirt fits. It looks kind of small. Ooh. It probably stretches. <laughs> Alrighty, so what does everybody have on their agenda for this weekend? What is happening this weekend? Oi. Why do I always, why am I always on the struggle bus? Always. Here it goes. Okay. Alrighty. Just trying to find the center of my shirt. I see it, it's right there. I just hope I have this pulled correctly. All right, uh, well, the mat went crooked in here, but that's okay because you know what? I feel like I'm gonna make this stuff crooked up in here anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Oopsie, wait, hold on. I'm trying to get my, my thing up to temp. Hold on, temp. So we're gonna get my heat press up to 330. Let me get it set for it. Okay, I'm gonna get some candy apple and some bright white because I don't think we would see cadet on here if I'm being honest. So we're just gonna do candy apple and bright white. Okay, oi, ah! So, Hey, Mads. Um, you live on the struggle bus? Yeah, tell me about it, girl. All right, here is this. This is so off, it's not even funny. Mads, are you on or are you just peeking in? Um, coming, canning pasta sauce and going to a lo localish cranberry bog for the first time. Ooh, Stacy, what? Okay, so cranberry bog. That sounds different. What exactly is a cranberry bog? I've never heard of that. Mads, are we watching the game at your house tonight? <laughs> Are you going to have that on? Will that be on in the barport? Um, just wondering, because it's on at 8.07 tonight. I was wondering. I just don't know if you are able to hear me. You might be, you may have just popped in to see, so I see your cute little image there. You guys know my Mads, my friend Mads. Okay. I drive the struggle bus as well, Lise. We must be um, alternate drivers. 
All right, so let's see. So we are gonna start off with, let's get that catcher's mitt on here, okay? All right, let's do the catcher's mitt, okay? Um, you guys, I'm out of room. Where am I gonna put this? Okay, we're gonna put it like this. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Oi. All right, hold on. <laughs> Please hold. Here's the struggle bus because I can't figure out where to put my... Oh, it just fell. Okay, it's fine. Whatever. It's okay. All right, so we're going to go like this. We are going to do a cute little catcher's mitt right here, which, of course, is not on my thingy. Like, I feel my ink mat moved over, so of course, it's likely going to bleed, but that's fine. It's okay. All right, so should I do my, I think I'm going to do my, my catcher's mitt and the ball. I think I'm going to do the catcher's mitt and the ball in bright white, actually. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the catcher's mitt over here, so that way that at least is on my mat. And I'll do the ball like right here. And then I'm going to do, you know what? It's I'm trying to think, okay, I know this sounds terrible, but okay, guys, let's pretend that like right about here <laughs> is where things are. So if I do the ball over here, okay, and then I'll do go fills. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Let's do that. I'll spell it out with my fonts. Sound like a plan, Stan? I feel like it does. All righty, let's get at this, you guys. Let's do it. I'm ready. Yay, I cannot wait to do this. Yay. Okay. And we're going to do Go Fills in red, in our candy apple, rather. And I'm going to try to be smart about the numbers. I do not want the numbers to come up on this. You know what I'm going to do, actually? Hold on. I'm gonna do placement tape over the numbers. I don't want them on my shirt. It's like a cranberry farm. You can watch and learn the cranberry fruitation and buy local cranberries. Well, that sounds like fun. That sounds super cool. Oh shoot. Oh gosh. Hold on, I'm trying to ensure that I don't chalk certain things here, guys. So I'm just taping it off, okay? Because you know me, you guys know me. If you've been following me for a long time, you know I do not pay attention long enough to do the right things. Okay. Oi, no, I got ink on me. Hold on. And you know what? I'm, I'm able to take a little bit of extra time here because, oh, hold on. You see that? There is a spot here that I miss, and I'm going to wind up going over this. I know I will. Right here. Right there. And right here. Okay. I think I got everything covered. Now we can go back to doing our ink. Okay, I just have to be super careful because I don't think I paid attention to the ink on my hands. Okay. So there is that. <gasps> and see, look, I'm like getting all crazy with the ink. I'm not even paying attention to how far down. You guys, I got to really pay attention. I don't. What is wrong with me? Why do I not watch out what I'm doing?
Okay. All right. So we've got that. Okay. I've got tons of ink all over my fingers here. Okay. Tons and tons of ink. Oh my gosh. And that's okay. I definitely want to get this tape off because the placement tape I have been noticing has really, really, you know what? I'm getting more and more ink on me. I'm going to wait for the, pl the placement tape. It's fine. Because you know what? If I have to come back in and ink anymore, I probably should keep it on. Oh, that looks so good. Oh my gosh. Look at that. You guys, can you see it? Oh, it's great. Okay. We're going to keep this. We're going to put this right over here. Oh, it is perfect. Oh, and I'm getting ink again everywhere. I have it all over my fingernails. I'm going to make a mistake and wind up picking, going to pick this up. And it's going to be all over my hands. Okay. Whoo. Hi, Julie. How are you doing? Here is that. All righty. So we've got the baseball glove. Now let's go to the baseball. I'm going to put that on. Oh, yeah. Ah! I'm just falling off the thing here. All right, here's the good thing. The baseball is right towards the end. Hooray. So, because I obviously don't want to go over my ink here, right? So I think it's going to be okay if I put it, like, right there. I could put it like that. That feels like it should be fine. That out of the way. Okay, let's get that placement tape because there's a lot of spots here that I don't want to do. Okay. Hey, Barb, how are you? Okay. And one more spot for the 10. Oi. There we go. Now we have this all good. Where's the thing? I was going to say, where's my squeegee? What did I do with it? Okay. Let's go ahead and get the ball done. All right. I got to be super careful here. This all looks good. I think I'm covering everything up. I'm like trying to make sure there's nothing like close to this. Like I do see the hockey pucks. I mean the hockey sticks and all. Isn't that what they are? Yeah, that's the hockey sticks. I was like, wait, are these ones the golf clubs? They weren't. Just making sure. Oh, it looks so good. This is going to be great. There it goes. I've got ink everywhere, you guys. Look at this. You want to be careful and make sure that you don't have ink on your fingers when you go to pull the transfer up because you'll be super sad, okay? Super sad. All right, ready? Okay, we're good. There we go. Oh, it's so great. So, so great. Oh, I should have taken into consideration the lines on the ball. Well, that's all right. We know for next time. All right, I'm running out of room already because I have two gigantic size C transfers here. Silly girl. We're going to put it on the side of my table. That's okay. Huh? Okay. Hi, Kim. Hey, Lori. How are you guys? Okay, so we've got that. So let's get my white closed up. My bright white here closed up. We're all... Okay, we can put that right there, actually. Get this closed, and we're going to get... And now I have to do a dance because, of course... Oh, of course, I closed up, closed myself into the um, thingy here. Like, I, I got myself stuck here. Um, keep, keep my feet press on. I want to do go fills right here. 
okay? Um, let me get my my font that I want to use. Oof. Um, I actually want to spell out Attaboy Harper. <laughs> Who knows that story? Who knows what that means? Oh, yeah. Let's see. I think it's a, I think this is a size C transfer too, the font that I'm thinking of. I think it is. Or is it a D? If it was a D and I did not have to get up to go, pa battle through my stuff, that would figure. But I think it's, I think it's a C. Oh my gosh, this weighs a ton already. Hold on, I'm trying to, oh! Yikes, where is my, where's my book at? That's a, that's a nine. Oh, it's right here, yeah, hold on. Oh, I think it is, maybe it is a size D transfer. I thought it was, hmm. I guess it is a size D. Why am I not remembering? Oh, no, it is. I'm thinking it is. I want to do the farmhouse pennant letters. Okay. Size C font. I have not used these yet. Okay. Oh, gosh. I'm like literally stepping over everything here. <laughs> you guys, it is a disaster here. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, ah! All right. Who knows the Attaboy Harper? Who knows that's that uh, what that means? Does anybody know what that means? So this is called Farmhouse Pennant Letters. Is anybody still with me? I gotta get this slid over real quick. So that way I can get my little label on the back. Farmhouse pennant letters. Okay. Hi, Bamble Me Happy. It was no, no, I mean it was it was, but then I cleaned it, remember? Still here, no idea. Okay, all right, all right. Um, let's see, this is called, what is it again? Farmhouse Pennant Letters, okay. Farm House Pennant Letters. Okay, so that story is, yay! Okay, good, you guys are still here, awesome. Um, that was from, the uh, Atlanta Braves series when, who, what was his name? Oh God, I forget what the Atlanta Braves player was. Um, when Harper was, it was the last game. Uh, it was the game they played in Atlanta when the Phils, they were up at bat and they had, who was up at after Harper? I can't remember. Um, wound up hitting and Harper was running to second. He was on first running to second, but it was a pop-up. It was caught and he couldn't get back to first in time. So he got thrown out and the second baseman or the shortstop, whoever, I can't remember where he played. He got him out and he was like, attaboy Harper. And he got thrown out. I think that's who, yeah, I'm pretty sure. That, yeah. That's who said it. At, he was at second base, I believe. And Apparently, he wasn't supposed to hear it. So they call it, I, I think they call it like chalkboard banter or something. And it literally became a shirt for like the end of our series, like when we won against them. Um, so it was like Attaboy Harper on the front and on the back, like they were wearing it in their locker room when they won, when they were dancing to our song, you know, dancing on my own. Um and it said Attaboy Harper on the front and on the back it said he wasn't supposed to hear it because he was not supposed to hear that. So as he, when they, he hit the um, home run, as Harper was rounding second base, he glared him down. Um, and that was part of it. Hey, Agla, how are you doing? So that is what Attaboy Harper means, right? So that's what I think I want to do. Should I say fighting? Should I say go Phils or Attaboy Harper? What should I do? You guys tell me. 
Go Phils or Attaboy Harper. Hey, Karen. What do you guys think? While I'm cutting these up, you guys tell me what you think. Attaboy? Okay. Lisa says attaboy. Where will I put it? Right above. So I could say, technically, I mean, go fills. Okay. I was thinking of putting it right on the front, but I could do it on the back of my shirt. Since I have the baseball, I kind of feel like I got to put it. Some, something has to be up here. Go fills. Okay. Is this still wet? Oh, that's still very wet. Okay, hold on. I got to be super careful as I'm cutting these letters out because that is crazy wet still. Oh, I should have done it the other way. Hello, Karen. How are you? I'm thinking I would put it. So why don't I do, I could do. I could do Attaboy Harper. Uh, you know what? Why don't I do Go Fills on the front and Attaboy Harper on the back? I could do that, you guys. That's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to do Go Fills on the front and Attaboy Harper on the back. Why not? Guys, the only thing about fonts is cutting them out. Literally, that is the most work ever. That's the most work you're going to do the whole time. Is cutting out your fonts. But once you have them cut out, then you're good. You're golden. Then you are set. Sorry, I have to do it back here. I'm probably going to be off camera cutting these because I cannot let it touch my shirt. Because my shirt is still crazy wet, friends. And I am not trying to wreck what I just did. Hello! I think it will be too big for the front. Yeah. Okay, so you know what I'll do? I'll do go fills. I'll do go fills on the front because we can do that. We can do go fills. Go fills. I can always make, you know what? I'm going to make another shirt with Attaboy Harper. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do a red one because I thought I had a red shirt coming. Like once I knew we had this set, this um, this um, release coming, I had ordered some shirts. I could have sworn the red one was the one that was coming first. It wasn't, clearly, obviously. And you know what's awesome about this actually? Because here's the good part about this: um, P H I L S. It's all I'm using all the letters one time, so I can actually not worry about using multiple letters. Okay, hold on, I think I did not cut out the J. And the J and the O, oh, that's, isn't that comical? Hey, Diana. I sure could, Kim. I most definitely could. That's the best part. There's where I did not cut. In between the E and the J, oh, I did. Okay, I didn't even realize I did that already. All right, so did I cut all of these? Look at me go. All right, so let's do go fills. We're just going to pull these out just so I have them. So G, O. <gasps> ah! Okay, it's okay. It was, it's okay. So go. If I could pick it up. P, H. Oh, that's where I didn't cut. Hold on. I knew there were spots that I missed. I just couldn't figure out where it was. I was like, there's no way I cut it that quick because I knew I wasn't that quick with these. I was just, so it must have just been like this little letter here. There it goes. So P H I L S. 
And I'm just laying it down, guys. This isn't the actual placement it's going. I'm just putting it down for a sec. Got to pull it all out. Okay, great. So, 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 so. So why don't I do this? Um, Got to drop it down a little bit. So go, G, O. Go fills. I like it. That looks actually pretty perfect, in my opinion. Ooh, I probably should not be laying it like that, though. Just saying. I'm actually a little afraid that, ooh, how stuck together it's going to get. It's okay, though. I think that's actually perfect. Don't you guys agree? Go fills. That looks like it's perfect arch over the right side. Arch over the right side. Huh? I don't know what you mean by that. Arch over the right side. I don't know what that means, Tanya. Arch over the right side. Arch it around the ball glove. Oh, like this. Ooh. Like that. I don't know exactly what you mean, you guys. Is that what you mean? No. You mean like go like that? Okay, hold on. All right, so I'll have to do all the letters individually then. I think I know what you guys are saying. Like a circle, not the letters lined up. Okay, all righty. So I can't have, all right, I see what you're saying now. Okay. All right, so like G O P H I L S. Like that, you're saying. Yes, okay. So I'll have to bring it down a little bit further and start over a little bit more then. Because it will not. So like this. Okay, yes, okay. That's what we're saying. Okay, I think I got what you mean. I just got to line it up a little bit better then. I think I like the placement of the fills here. It's the placement of go I'm not happy with, to be honest with you. I might be happy with it there. Oops, no. How about that? Shift right too far on the left. So better now, Darlene? How's that now? I think I finally stopped touching it enough. 
where we should all be caught up. I just have to wait now for you guys to catch up with me. How's that? Better? Yay! Okay, Janine says perfect. So should I go with this now? Yes. All right. So we're going to go with it now. Yay. Okay. So you know what? Here's the cool thing. If I just lift this up like this, I can actually get both letters. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, hold on. Should I do it like this? I can actually get both letters. They're going to have to touch each other. But I can get both letters to go down. And let's go with it. Oh, that is a lot of ink that just came out on the top there. And that's all right. Yep, let her, let her rip. Got it. We're going. All right, let's hope our candy apple works on here. I hope we can see it. If we can't, we're going to come back over it in the, in, the, in the bright white. Okay, and hopefully, here's another thing. My, whatchamacallit, is right here. The ink mat. Hopefully, that will not be an issue either. Ooh. Ah! It looks a little heavier, but we're going to see if that is okay. I think it's because of the ink mat being right here. You better not. Okay. I usually don't like to leave a color that heavy on here, but I kind of sort of, the way I did it, I had no choice because the transfer got stuck together. But that's okay. I can always just relay the color down once I dry it and redo it again. No big deal. It's not, there's not hope lost. It's because of the way the thing is underneath. Okay. Just be careful when we go to pull this off. But I don't have ink on my fingernails and I do not. Okay. G O. feel like the P and the H is super wide apart from each other. And that's okay, because you know what? We'll just adjust as I go. It's okay. course I got ink on that one. Okay. P. I seriously do not like the placement of that H. And hold on, I got ink on the back of this. I don't obviously want it on my project. So I have to be super careful, friends. Okay. I have to stand up for this part to make sure it's it's lined up okay. That appears to be lined up pretty good. I'm trying to not let it drop down on top of the P because obviously our P is wet, right? Oh, that sounds funny. The P is wet. Ha ha. H I L S. I'm just gonna keep every time I pick up another letter, I'm just gonna make sure I don't have any ink on my fingers, okay? P H I
And I'm going against my cardinal rule of how I normally ink, but I kind of have no choice with this right now. It's just the way I have to let the ink fall at this moment. Oh, the cards fall, the ink fall, if you will. Because I have a wet, I have wet letters underneath and I don't want them to carry it forward. It's looking so good. Next, start angling the eye to make the curve. Yes, I, I saw it. As you were telling me, I saw it. Thank God I did it. Hi, Shelly. How are you? Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's crooked. I really, really made that eye crooked. Ah! Okay, I really got to mount. I got to make it go down. I did not notice it as I did it. Oh no! Hold on. I wonder if I can get it off. Should I attempt? Or should I just really work it down? Should I just really work it down? Guys, I did not notice how not lined up it was. I couldn't see. Ay, ay, ay. I'm not happy with that eye at all. I wonder if I can take it off. I don't think it looks good. Oh, I don't think it looks good. I'm going to take it off. I'm going to try and take it off. I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to see. I'm going to see real quick. Oh, please come off. Just come off. Just come off. Just come off. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Okay, you guys, hold on. Maybe because I'm working quickly and I didn't obviously dry it. Yay! I think I saved it. I may have saved it here. Hold on. I need a new one. Also, hoping that this doesn't affect the... Because these are... I think these are bleach wipes. I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. I think we're good. I think we're good, guys. I think we're good. Look, it's fine. I think we're good. Guys, let me make the mistakes and test it out so you guys don't have to. Let's see what happens. It's okay. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I think I saved it because I didn't heat set it at all. And because it was on a black shirt. Like, literally, I think that was my saving grace here. If I would have done this on a, a shirt that had, like, that was a white shirt, I wouldn't have been able to do it. I would not have been able to pull that off. I think I did pretty good, actually. I'm actually okay with this. I'm glad that I did that. I am okay with this. Look, you can't even see it. It's going to be great. I'm so happy I did it, actually. It makes me happy. Yes. Again, let me make the mistake so you guys don't have to. Right? I did not even notice it. I did not notice until I lifted it up. Let me take a look. See, that's what I get for trying to rush it. I got to stop. Let me just stop rushing. I got time. I have the time, you guys. I got to stop. You can't even see it. Okay. There it goes. No, I did not dry it, but I think we're going to be okay. I think it'll be fine, right? I think it should be okay. Look, you can hardly see that. Yay! So good. So, so good. I'm so happy. Yay! Okay, 
and then hold on, let me. All right, so let's come back over this now and make sure this is gonna be, because you know what I was trying to do? I was trying to line up with this H, but not sit on top of the H. Cause you see how it's like, okay, let me dry. I gotta dry the H, I have to. I have to get that H dry because otherwise it's gonna bleed. Okay, ready? No, it wasn't a Clorox wipe. It was a, I'm actually looking at it. It's a bacterial sanitizing wipe. So I was super lucky. Yay. Okay. That actually looks like it lines up pretty well. You know what I think it is? I think it's that the eye is tinier. You guys, do you see the I? It looks like it's littler than the H. So I'm trying to, maybe that's upside down. It could also be that. I see the H, P-H, I. Now that looks like it's too, it looks like it's not Is that going to be okay, do we think, how that looks? Trying to line up all my letters. Sorry, you guys are going to see my head. feel like that looks okay. I'm trying to catch up on the live. Okay, on the live, too much curve in the eye. Okay, too much curve in the eye. So let's go, because these guys look like they're okay. So let's, how about, how about that? Better? Stop it. Better? I feel like that looks good now. Do you guys feel like that looks good? And it's even though it doesn't look lined up here, that I is lined up with the H. I'm looking at it as we go. What do we think? You guys tell me now. Okay, look, I get a thumbs up from Janine. So I'm gonna go with it, guys. Cause you know what? I don't wanna mess this up. I'm scared to death I'm gonna mess this up. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna go like this. Where's this at? Yep, okay, you guys are all on board. So am I. Get it done quick now, Jess. Yay. Thanks for toughing it out with me, guys. I love that we do this as a group. I love that we do group projects. Oh, there we go. That looks great. I have to be super careful because, of course, I let this touch <gasps> the wet ink
just like drop it down like that. If I do it carefully, it should work. One more ladder. Okay. Oh gosh, be careful, Jess. You guys, I'm just trying to make sure that my S is correct here and push down. Like literally, I thought this was going to be like the quickest thing ever. <laughs> Isn't that funny when there's other plans? When other things happen. Isn't that funny? Oh gosh, and I touched the thing. Oh, okay. Yay! We got it! Go, Phils! Finally! I think I did too big of a gap there, but whatever, I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> Yay! Oh, thank God. Okay, I have completely red fingers. Okay, all righty, here it is. Okay, I just gotta get a little more red off my finger and then I can touch this and we're gonna get it all dried. There's only one thing I wanna retouch up and that's the P. I think because I lifted up a little too soon, which, where's the P at? Go, here it is, fills. And of course, I'm just getting all ink all over me all over again after I just cleaned my fingers off, which, you know, Whatever it is, what it is, right? What did I just do with the towel? Oh, here it is. Okay, hold on. So we're going to go over that P again. I feel like it could have been darker. Especially because it's on, oh, you see what it is? It's part of the, the letter. Okay, I thought I missed a piece. I didn't. But I do like how bright that brought it. So you know what I'm going to do? Now that I have the letters down, I'm going to quick go over some of these. Um, and make them a little brighter. See how bright that made it? I think I'm going to do two, two quick uh, coats of ink on these. Only because I don't think the red is as bright on the black as I'd like it to be. The candy apple. So there's that. Okay, this makes me super happy, you guys. Okay, hold on. Okay. I'm going to try to go over each of the letters one more time to brighten them up. Let's make it a little bit brighter. Just because I really want that red to pop on here. Just hoping I don't mess up my ink. <gasps> Ooh, that was a little shadowy for my H. I probably had it upside down. That's probably why. That's okay. That's fine. Let's do the L. Okay, I can definitely see that this is meant to be this way and not the other way. I can definitely tell that. Um, definitely going to have to dry this a little bit. Oh, that's a great idea, Kat. Do it a first coat and then go back over it. Yeah, that's a good idea. But you know what? I don't feel like... <laughs> that means I have to do this even longer and I just want to be done now. I am like... I'm so worried I'm going to like mess it up. I'm like, I'm ready to be done. 
I am ready. I want to be complete. I'm going to call you back, I promise. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Here is the I. I see you, I. Let me get over to my O. Let's go back over here to the O. Just go back and forth between the letters. That way they're nice and bright. And this one, because it is on top of. The edge of the mat, that's going to be the problem here. It's right at the edge of the mat. That's why it looks like it's a little more goopy and bright. It's like picking up, I can't help that part because the mat, the ink mat underneath. It's okay though. That's fine. Oh, that's, that is really extra though. There. okay that looks great look how bright those colors are now look at the go and the ph yes okay let me do the l Oh, this is awesome. Okay, calm down. Yes. Do you see how bright this is? I love it. Okay. Let me get that S in there. I feel like as long as I... Don't let it touch anything else. Like no other edges and just line it up properly. Even if it's not dried on the opposite side, I should be okay. It should be just fine. Okay, I just gotta get the eye and I'm all done. And then we can finally dry and heat set. Hooray! Just gotta do the eye. Okay. Yay! Oh, the baseball is the O oh, really would have been cute. Why didn't we think of that? I wish I could have done that, Deb. That would have been a great idea. All right, I gotta dry the H and the L before I even attempt to put this I down because I'm going to mess that up. The O as the baseball would have been adorable. Darn it. That's a great idea. Totally could. Totally could. Totally, totally. Hey, Kathy. All right, let's attempt the eye. I feel like I'm, I'm going to wind up brushing this, and I'm so going to be so mad at myself. All right, I'm trying to look and see if I can tell. It looks chunkier up here, so that makes me feel like this is the right side of the eye. I'm just trying to make sure I have it lined up properly because, you know, 
we don't want to mess it up right at the end, right? Like I could see I did the H upside down because there's a bit of a shadow. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can see it. It's fine. It is what it is, but I can see it. Okay, hold on. Now I got to get this off my fingers because of course I am completely wearing the candy apple all over my hands right now. Um, <laughs> I did get it on there. Yikes. And I did lift up. See, I shouldn't have done it. Dang it. Because I couldn't just leave well enough alone. I should have waited. Hold on. I should have waited. I'm letting it go. It's fine. You guys can't see it. I don't, I really don't think anybody else will. It sounds like someone is on my front porch. Is someone on my porch? Hold on. I definitely can hear someone on my porch. Oh, is it like pouring rain? Oh, yeah. FedEx came again. Alrighty. FedEx came again, you guys. That's true, Darlene. If someone stares at my chest that long, it's their problem if they see it. <laughs> um, will I put a number on the back? Attaboy, Harper. Um, you know what? I'm, I On the next one, I think, is where I'm going to do the Attaboy, Harper on the red one. And I will do a number on the back. I'm going to do Harper's number. All righty. Let's get this heat set finally, friends. My goodness. That was insane. That took forever. Sorry about that. This, I felt like this was the world's longest live, but that's because I was spelling out words. You know? I do feel like I need to correct this L now, though. I am going to have to do that because that is the only spot that is not... Look, can you guys see that? That it is not the only spot that is dark now? Right at the bottom. I am heat setting this giant goopy part of the, the red. I feel like if I pull it, it makes it a little bit better here. We'll see if I can get it to dry that way. It wasn't too long ago. Great distraction from grading papers. Oh, I'm so glad, Lisa. Oh, good, Kim. No, Darlene. Awesome. Great, guys. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed hanging out then. Thank you. Thank y'all. Hey, Val. How are you doing? Hope you've been well, Valerie.
I keep standing on the poppers. Oy, it's driving me nuts. Hey, it's Linda. How are you doing? All right, you guys, we're going to just quick, just because it is, it's seriously bothering the heck out of me here. I'm hoping I don't mess this up even more. I got to, oh, right here. I just have to, I'm sorry. From lifting it up and putting it back down right here. I like messed it up. So I had to redo it right there. Okay, great. It's totally fine now. I'm a-okay -okay with it. We're totally good. Okay, there it goes. I'm so happy with this. Hey, Christy. Hey, Iris. How are you guys? Oh, yay. So, so great. I cannot wait to wear my shirt. Hey, hey, girl. How are you? That's okay. I just opened up my... Um, sports, the game on collection. Um, I was showing all this stuff and then I did a project with this stuff and with uh, some fonts to spell out Go Phils. Um, it is, the shirt is for me for tonight for our Phillies. The Philadelphia Phillies are playing and I wanted to have a shirt um, for myself and I wanted to show, oh gosh, I gotta be careful because I've got red ink. Um, <sighs> on transfers all over it, and I'm gonna wind up getting it all over my shirt. Um, the shirt is for me. It's for me. Hi, Mary, how are you? Okay. All right, let's go, Matt. Let's get this. Let's get the ink mat out of here. Okay, I gotta get the ink mat out. Made sure there was no ink on my fingers. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. I'm so pumped. The shirt turned out great. Look at that. Yay. I love my shirt, you guys. I love it. It looks so good. I am not going to the game. I will be supporting from home. But it's so fun that we get to make our own stuff now, right? Like that we get our own sports stuff. Even though this does look crazy, you guys, but I promise you it was lined up right. I don't know why it looks so wonky. I think it was just the way that the, that I had it like pulled. I don't know. It's fine. I don't really care. I'm okay with it now. I've adjusted. I've adjusted. Hey, guess what? We, even though it looks wet, we are dry. Okay, so now it is finally time to heat set this bad boy. So let's get this going. Oh, shoot. And of course, my, are you kidding me? This thing turned off. Of course, I had it going the whole time. All right, it should be ready in just a sec because it literally has been on the entire time. So I cannot imagine that it will take long to warm up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to get our parchment paper barrier. Where is my, here's my thing protect my this is going to protect my table I'll get this down. actually let me get this down first let's protect my tabletop okay i'll put my shirt back down 
anytime an I is next to something and it capital, it looks weird, right? You're rooting for the Rangers. You're about to head to the Astros Rangers game. How fun is that? Oh, wait, why did I think it was the Texas, uh, Texas Rangers? Why did I think it was the Texans? The Rangers. I'm a dope. I don't know why I was calling them them, uh, calling them the Texans. Um, the Rangers. Oh my gosh. Christy, girl, we could be playing. Who are you rooting for, Christy? Who are you rooting for? Okay, so we are ready. Hi, um, F. Thomas McSherry. How are you? You're rooting for the Rangers, Mary said. It is fine. Once you won't notice, once on you, you won't notice any difference. That's true. Very true. All right, guys. Now it's time to go ahead and heat set. So what we're going to do, if you have a heat press, it is going to be 330 for 30 seconds on both sides. If you have an iron, it's going to be placed on the cotton setting, four minutes on each side. Okay. And you need a parchment paper barrier. Hey, Gwen, how are you doing? Okay. And you guys, if you are... Astros all the way, Christy. Okay, you guys beat us last year. Didn't you? Wait, but didn't the Astros win last year? Didn't you guys beat us? Am I remembering correctly? I feel like I'm not remembering correctly. Um, your boyfriend is in Rangers Cove and been a Rangers fan, so he's excited. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm just be, trying to be super careful because I feel like, look, ooh, I kind of feel like my L was not dry all the way. So I'm just going to try and be super careful pulling this around because I don't want my red to bleed. Make sure your stuff is totally dry. I may have totally forgot to go back to test it again. Ooh, it's fine. Whatever. Ah! No way, Christy. That is awesome. Very cool. Oh, yeah, look. My L was not dry all the way, you guys. Let's see. You know what? We're going to put that like that now. And I'm going to put this down again because I feel like that 30 seconds was not long enough. Yes, I think you did. I think you guys beat us for the World Series. Um, I think I blocked that out. <laughs> does the game... It does not, Gwen. It does not. There is no cheer in there. There is football, baseball, basketball, hockey, um, soccer, uh, lacrosse, um, soccer, lacrosse, snow, uh, ski, snowboarding, skiing, snowboarding, golf, and am I missing anything? Volleyball. But I do believe we'll probably, because this is Game On Collection 2023 is what it was called. I feel like there's going to be another one next year. There's got to be because there's still so many sports, you know. No cheer, though. Not this round. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to flip it inside out. Okay. And then, oh, it totally would, Gwen. Most definitely. There are so many cheer moms and dads, grandmas, aunts, uncles, friends. Oh, oh, cheer would be huge, huge, huge. They got to do that next, most definitely. Okay, what you're going to do for the next round is we're going to place that parchment paper on the inside, okay? And we are going to protect the inside of our, our project, okay? So you want a parchment paper barrier on the inside. And of course, I'm on the struggle bus. It's struggle bus Friday, remember? Struggle Bus Friday. Oh my gosh. Hello. Can we get this open? Get it open. Struggle Bus Friday. Okay. Here it goes. I'm going to get that on the inside, and now we're going to ink again. Boop. And here we go. Yes, Christy, for sure. You got to get this one. Especially because we even have the chalkable shapes for it. The baseball, you went varsity and junior varsity has the baseball stuff. Um, I did the catcher's mitt and the baseball. Um, and then the, what is the one that has like the jersey on it with the numbers? Uh, I, like the whole collection is just awesome. You need the whole collection. For reals. Hey, Mike, how are you? Oh, Mary, we do have the a mini set. It had tennis and... Oh, what did it have on it? It's, it, it came out like last, uh, for the sp uh, spring collection 23, because I got it to work with for leadership. 
We had a little mini set. It was four pieces. I can't remember what all was in it. It's I'm drawing a blank. Baseball was in it. Tennis was in it. Um, I think soccer was in it. I can't remember. The, it was four items. It was tiny. It was sayings with little icons. Okay. I think we're all good now, guys. I think we are all good. All right, I'm turning off my heat press. I'm going to burn myself. Um, yay! Whoever just ordered from my site, thank you so much for your order. I just saw it go through. Um, I saw the jersey, but don't have baseball that I but didn't have baseball. That I remember. Yeah, I don't remember. Okay, so there we go, you guys. There's my Go Phil's shirt that I made, and I, like I said, I thought I ordered a red shirt. I guess I didn't. I would have done red and blue, but that's okay. Oh, we got hockey on it, Mary. Oh, the mini set. Yes, yes. Um, it does need hockey. I love hockey. We are a hockey family through and through with little brand played hockey his senior year. Me and brand met through hockey. I played hockey. I was on the first women's first hockey team in my area. Um, I had the first women's slate. <laughs> um, so there's that, uh, it was sports quotes. Yes. And it did have the little images It definitely had little images too. I remember. So there's that. Look how good it turned out. You guys I love it. Doesn't it look so good? I can't wait to wear this tonight. Go Phils. Um, and then I'm going to make my next shirt. It'll say Attaboy Harper. Um, I can't wait to make, wear it. I cannot wait to make it. I cannot wait to wear it. Oh, this is going to be so good. Go Phils with the um, glove and the ball. It is perfect, right? So let's um, bring it back up to me. I'll hold it up for you guys to see. Let me come on like this. Here's this. Go Phils. Yay. I can't wait. Can't wait for the game tonight. It was baseball, football, soccer, and tennis. Yes. Yay, TGIF, right, Darlene? I'm so pumped. Yeah, baseball, football, soccer, and tennis. That's what it was. Okay, I couldn't remember. Oh, this feels good. And you know what, guys? I think it's going to line up perfectly. So the go fills will be here, and then the, the glove and the ball is going to end up landing right about here. So that is going to be, I did perfect placement. Thank goodness. Thank goodness, you guys, you were perfect with the way you told me to arch it. Way to go. Hey, Dawn, you see ghost rows in your future. Yay, Kristen, do it. Um, so go ahead, go watch. Go see how I did it. Have some fun with it, you guys. I hope you love this set. Just stay tuned because I'll be making a ton more um, projects. I got a lot of ideas for our basement here for the boys. You know, it's football season. I've got a ton of gift ideas. Um, like I said, be sure to stay tuned to my channel because I got a lot of craft show ideas coming up um, with this um, with the with this collection for men, women, kiddos, lots of great stuff. Okay, so I hope you guys have an awesome Friday. Um, I will be back tomorrow with a fun project early tomorrow morning, hopefully, um, because we've got plans tomorrow to have my mom's birthday um, in Peddler's Village. So there is that. Um, so I hope you guys have a good day and I'll chat with you all later. Uh, have fun at the game today.